Well, level three DC rapid chargers. There's more and more of them being rolled out around Australia, but there's much thought being put into the positioning of them, the locations, and just how EV drivers can access the car parks. Stay with us and we'll take a look. Welcome to Electric Car Australia, the Aussie YouTube channel for those wanting to learn a little bit more about electric vehicles and the EV driving experience. Well, as I mentioned today, we're actually going to talk more about the charging experience. So we're here in Tenterfield, my hometown. I've came down for a road trip, just an overnight trip, and I'm charging at the NRMA 50 kilowatt DC rapid charger. Now the NRMA in New South Wales um, is the National Roads and Motorists Association, so the motoring group, similar to RACQ and RACV in the other states, they've been fantastic at installing these rapid chargers around regional areas in conjunction with local councils and businesses, etc. So this one's um, obviously in conjunction with the local council. Now these charges are free and I think it's about time that NRMA started to charge for these because as EV drivers we don't mind paying for um, charging, particularly if it's reliable charging where there's a bit of a question mark around that uh, recently. If you'd like to have a look at that I'll put a link to a video I've done on that up above. But hats off to NRMA, they've done a really great job of installing DC rapid chargers around the state and obviously there's other uh, government organisations and private charging companies like um, EV and ChargeFox etc. But they don't seem to be putting much thought into the positioning of some of these chargers. So as you can see behind me there, um, this is a massive car park. We'll have a look around um, shortly. When I say massive, it's about 10, 12 cars. And the positioning of this charger, I'd argue, probably could have been a little bit better. So let's have a bit of a walk around. There's the power distribution board that has a sticker on the side that says it has a fire isolation um, switch in there. So that cabling obviously comes under the driveway here over to the charger. So there's no problems with actually putting underground cables in. So that is the stock standard, I guess, fixture that the chargers usually have. It's literally a drive up to, drive in or reverse in, and there you go. But let's say we put the charger on the side here. So obviously if we put it on the side there, we could only charge one EV at a time. So that's not ideal. If we had drive in there at any other sites, it's all car parks, it's exactly the same as that one. But what if we went up this end of the car park and we'll just walk up there. Let's say we had a stall with a concrete divider between these car parks. Now look very similar to the service station. So there's a service station right next door. Now they have a drive up either side of that. If we done that here. So again, this is at the other end of the car park. So let's say up the centre there, we had a concrete uh, pad. We mounted the charger on that about halfway along. So about where that oil patch is from one of our friendly petrol or diesel vehicles. If the chargers were there, at least you could drive head first in or reverse in, leave your trailer mounted and you'd be able to charge. So if we come back here, you could see there's enough space there that you could drive in. So if we swing around from the service station again, we're in the exact same car park that the charge is in. This is the back of the tourist information center. Look at that. Now I am assuming there's no signage there that um, says this, but I'm assuming that's sort of like a disabled parking or a courier uh, type parking. But let's say that we had again a concrete pad up the centre there, you're right near your power distribution board there, and if we had the chargers mounted about where the red keep clear signage is, obviously that's for the ramp there, but we could put the ramp in another spot, wouldn't that be absolutely perfect? You swing in off the road, you pull in to what would be your left if you were heading north, you have a charger that you can plug in and then you drive straight through and straight out. 
And if we reconfigured the car park, so if we had the entrance to the car park over where the mighty MG is charging now, again, you could park another EV on the opposite side here. So you could have two EVs charging there in parallel and they could be both spots that would allow for towing. So look, it's just something that I wanted to throw out there for people to start thinking about. And if you are in a position where you can uh, influence the way that some of these charges are installed, whether that be with your local council, whether you know someone in one of the charging networks, or in fact you're um, related or even own a business where you're putting in a charger, these are the things that we just need to start thinking about. While there's not a lot of EVs on the road that are towing now, the majority of people with tow bars on an EV use them just to mount a bike rack, there is a reasonable amount of um, EVs now that can tow around a thousand kilos, even the ones that can do 500 kilos, that's big enough to put on a small box trailer. And if you've got a trailer on your EV, you do not want to be unhitching it every time you go to charge. So if we put a bit more thought into where we position the chargers, it's going to be a lot um, easier for EV drivers and drivers will go to those charge points that provide that convenience. So therefore the owners of those chargers are going to see more revenue come through those sites. Really love to hear your thoughts. Is this a big deal or not? Storm in a teacup, waste of time. You'd rather just see more chargers. Forget about whether you can get in there towing a uh, trailer. Please leave your comments in the comments section. I really love to see them. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, give it the big thumbs up if you liked it and all that good stuff. And if you'd like to flick me a couple of dollars, I'll put the donation links below. Well, that's it for another video. Take care, stay safe, look after your friends and family, and I look forward to bringing you another educational EV video soon. Cheers.